and stopping terrorist activity, stemming nuclear proliferation, and restoring a free and a democratic voice to the Iranian people. Those responsible for violence and aggression should be held accountable to the rule of international law. And I want to thank you for all you do in the name of liberty. Let me take this opportunity to reaffirm my support for the de democracy movement in Iran and to express my encouragement to the organized resistance inside that nation. I have been impressed by the recent uprisings in Tehran and other cities, and I, and I am very inspired by the spirit of those brave students who are in the forefront of the fight to abolish tyranny and establish rule of law, human rights, and equality in their homeland. I also want to commend those who are participating in this important gathering for your tireless work to promote human rights and democracy in both Iran and Iraq. I commend the leadership that Ms. Maryam Rajavi has demonstrated in the struggle against the, human, the Iranian dictatorship. I commend the Iranian MEK followers for your heartfelt sacrifices to realize peace and freedom in Iran and beyond. with those folks in Iran who want to see things change for the better in that country. Iran has a proud history, a proud history of leading in science and in the arts, a proud history of exporting the very best of the values of the world. But today, unfortunately, Iran is known for other things. They are known for an oppressive regime. They are known for not letting people exercise their basic rights. And they are known for exporting not science and the arts, but exporting terrorism, exporting hate, and exporting intolerance. So I stand with you and on behalf of my constituents and many, many of my colleagues here in Congress in helping you with your agenda of trying to have a freer Iran. There will be a time, with God's help, that all of us join together and celebrate in Tehran the great changes that have gone on in Iran. And the reason we are sure of that is because all of you are gathering. So I thank you for all that you are doing. We in the United States stand with you. To the Iranians that have left that country and are now fighting to make it better, I commend you because what you're doing is fighting a fight that we all share in. I'm pleased to have the opportunity today to share with you my deep belief in the power of freedom and liberty. Iranian persistence in disturbing global stability and the persecution of innocent people.